see what's in here. What is all this? This looks like decals. Yeah. I want you to get in. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Well, let's see what's in here. Hey, it's not very big, is it? Well, it looks like we got some parts to put together here. Prop guards. And screws. You tell me there's no battery. Well, I'm getting disappointed that they don't supply batteries anymore. Doggone it. i got to figure out what kind of battery to put in it. All right, let's put it together and see what it does. Where it's in the bind mode, so I'm going to turn on, hold this button down, turn on the switch at the same time. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Well, that's pretty cool. Shut it off. Oh, it shuts off itself. All right, we gotta take it outside. And see what happens. All right, we're going to go into forward flight now. Just nice, easy, slow stuff here.
I'm going to put it in the 3D mode. <laughs> okay, into the soft mode now. Easy fly. down here and put it into the hover mode. Light up, away we go. I broke the prop because hovering in too heavy of wind had it heading for the roof and I had to shut it off. It also folds over a lot on landing. I replaced the stock props with these green ones from Avatar RC and they're much stronger. And here's how I did it. Did it come with extra props? No. Well, as you can see, I broke the prop. You know, this prop has an oblong shaft and the shaft on the uh, X-vert is actually oblong, so if it does hit something, it just breaks instead of allowing the prop to spin a little bit. So what I did was I took an insert off of this propeller right here, these high efficiency propellers I got from Avatar, and uh, I put one of the inserts in there with my famous Gorilla Super Glue, which works really well, and uh, that's a nice and tight fit, so it actually screws right on to the expert really easy and uh, it's nice and tight really tight actually well folks there's an obvious learning curve to flying this expert <laughs> it doesn't hover like a quad because the body is uh, sticking up vertically and the air pushing against the body uh, makes it a little harder to move around in the wind and it does fall over a lot when there's when it lands because there's no wheels for landing and it doesn't slide around uh, the pros are <laughs> it's really a blast to fly well, the cons are weak propellers, no spares, and no battery in the bind-and-fly version. 
But if you're going to get one of these things, and I do recommend it, you're going to have a blast. Make sure to get extra propellers or get the heavier duty root green propellers like I put on it. They are the ones that fit on the Torrent 110. Well, thanks a lot, folks, for watching, and please subscribe and stay tuned because I've got a big cub coming up next as soon as I get it built.